Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful mint condition 2022 Coachman Catalina 343 BHTS triple slide bunkhouse travel trailer. Overall exterior length is 38 feet 6 inches. The exterior height to the AC units is going to be 11 feet 3 inches. This is a one owner camper. The owners have only owned it for a couple months and the only reason why they're selling it is because uh, the kids aren't able to go with them anymore because of school activity so they called me and that is the reason why it is for sale and if i can find the dry weight i don't have my glasses on i'm going to show it on the tag on the hitch my delivery guy who brought it here at the storage facility is kind of in a rush so this is going to be a quick video evaluation 100 percent the camper is condition wise 100%. I think any dealer would agree. Give you an idea of the floor plan here. Work my way in the back bunkhouse area and then work my way up front and go into a little bit more detail. All right, this is the bunkhouse or the mother-in-law room. This is gonna be the first slide out and uh, that couch or the cushions lay out, make into a huge bed. So I'm gonna say easily two, three, four comfortably in the mother-in-law room you can sleep comfortably tv i believe goes with it uh the owners said that the, everything that's in the camper he's just going to let it go with the camper so and this is the teddy bear mattress finish on this i'm not sure what the weight rating is on it i'm going to say it's probably 250 that's usually what they are Let's go ahead and put this in. You have a large 15,000 BTU AC unit with quick dump feature on it. And your furnace on this is I believe going to be about a 30,000 BTU furnace, more than enough. It's going to be the second slide out. It's going to be super slide, accommodates the boot dinette. Boot dinette breaks down into a bed pretty easily. Just pull out these poles, level the table down here the tabletop right here put out the cushions and you can definitely sleep to adults comfortably on that and then this is the jackknife sleeper sofa yeah it's like a futon the back and bottom lay down and you can sleep eh, one adult comfortably on that or you can sleep two kiddos I didn't turn on this light Your TV here in the living room, I'm gonna say it's probably a 32 inch flat screen. And then you have a, probably a probably a 38,000 uh, BTU furnace or fireplace on this. And we're not hooked up to 110, so this is a 110 feature. We're only hooked up to my uh, delivery guy's truck right now. Stereo's Bluetooth capable, uh, and it's got all the good stuff on it. 10 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. So whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power, uh, you're pretty much ready to go. Cold refrigerator, it's a little dirty right here. Stainless steel finish. Greystone oven, never been used. Three burner gas cooktop. Front burner usually is a high output for uh, boiling water. And you have stainless steel microwave, stainless steel finish on the microwave. Undermounted, I call it a farmer's sink. And you do have that foil wrap countertop. Uh, this is the good stuff. That's what a lot of these uh, lightweight trailers are doing now. So the cabinets are kind of like a whitewash, and it does have the brushed nickel finish. Okay. Oh, and the AC with the quick dump feature. I always try to show it in my videos. Once you get to the campsite or a storage lot or whatever campsite, you open up these louvers, do a quick quick dump for about five minutes, and then shut them off, and you've got ducted AC all throughout. All the lights on this camper are all LED. It's going to be your third slide out. It's going to be a queen bed. And I forgot to check. Yeah, you've got storage up underneath there. Did that with one hand, by the way. The camper has only been used a few times and I've got to correct myself it's a dual AC units so that's probably a 13,500 BTU in the bedroom 
Yeah, dual ACs. I got to make sure I put that in the description. That's a big deal. Uh, this is pretty much fully loaded then. Uh, and because the reason why I say that, it's got a washer and dryer, which is kind of unheard of on these travel trailers. But uh, 38 footer, it's washer and dryer ready, ready to go. And that goes with the camper. On your queen bed, you've got, looks like, a USB charging on each side of the bed. You got a 110 feature down there. Let's see if there's one over here. Yep, Coachman did a good job. Put a 110 feature on each side of the bed and USB charging on each side. Spin around here. There we go. You got carpet in the bedroom so you're not, your feet don't get cold in the middle of the night when you go up, get in the bathroom or have an emergency. And then you have the high grade or residential uh, vinyl flooring. It's a wood plank floor look. And you do have storage up underneath the boot dinettes. I hate being rushed, but I gotta take care of my lot guy. Or my my delivery guy. Make sure he's not upset with me. Uh, ultra leather finish on the boot dinette and on the sofa. Excellent condition. Showroom. I would definitely put this up against any 2022, 23. 24s are coming out. i put them up against any 24 model. Let's go outside. This is the corrugated aluminum finish. The skin, corrugated aluminum skin finish on this. I do check for uh, hail, any rock dinks or anything like that. Didn't find any issues. Nice and clean. Uh, looks like a little rock guard up front here. And then you have the Coachman badge there. All decals are in excellent condition. And it is the Legacy Edition. You do have the, the Lippert uh, solid step system and it locks up inside the door. So it's a nice clean look when you're going down the road. That's the steps you want. Looks like it's prepped for solar. And you do have uh, enclosed heated underbelly on this. And it looks like the shield protection from for Catalina. Uh, not sure what that means. Uh, anyway, you got a six gallon gas electric water heater. Let me just double check. And yeah, six US gallons. Okay, it's a little tag inside that tells you that on the inside there. Aluminum wheels, that's part of the legacy package. 110 outlet here. You got TV hookups here if you want to put a TV out here. If you want to leash up a dog or a pet, there you go, you're ready. Outside kitchen. Outside kitchen is equipped with a suburban uh, griddle. And let's go ahead and lock that in so that my cool delivery guy can get on the road he's standing behind me all right we got a little dorm fridge probably a q a four cubic foot dorm fridge outside you got a bottle opener 110 outlets here and yeah you got a light here another 110 outlet and nice sink and some drawers there you go These are the heavy 2D stabilizer jacks. These are the ones you want. Those electric ones are rinky dink in my opinion. Look at that. Gas grill hookup. Little point drain valves right there. The red and blue. There you go. Easy to winterize. Let's show off that enclosed underbelly. And this has heated tanks on it. Back up here. Show off that the decals. It's a clean, clean coach. 21 foot power awning. LED lights up against the wall not inside the tube that's where you want them all the leds are working outside marine speaker all right looks like a little rack on the back if you want to put a generator on that's probably part of a premium package or a legacy package from coachman spare tire with cover they don't give those away prepped up for backup camera wireless backup camera There you go. Outside shower here, uh, city water hookup here, and this is going to be your 30 amp hookup here. And yeah, let me just double check. Uh, 50 amp, I apologize. 50 amp service because of the washer and dryer. I should have known that anyway, and the dual ACs. Black tank sewer flush, you don't have to drag a hose inside anymore. And this is going to be where you hook up your sewer hose. And yeah, those wheels, I believe they're 15. Yeah, they are, they're 15s. And again, the aluminum wheels, part of the legacy package. Nice legacy badge there. Clean camper, clean. 
freshwater fill right here. I believe it's going to be a 44 gallon freshwater holding tank on this. And uh, I believe it's going to be 70 gallon gray, which is your sink and your shower. And you got 30 gallon black tank, which is your toilet. Yeah, it's kind of in a rush. I didn't open this up. Uh, storage goes all the way through. That's under. Uh, uh, no, it doesn't go all the way through because the washer and dryer is over there. So this is going to be one large garage space. Power hitch jack. Probably two 20-pound LP tanks with cover. Battery disconnect right here. Saves you on your battery when you have it in storage. And the unloaded vehicle weight. When it came off the assembly line or the dry weight is right here. 8,748 pounds. Perfect for a, a nice heavy half ton. And if you buy the camper, there's your VIN number. Give that to your insurance company. Again, your stabilizer jacks. All right, let me go back around here. I just, I like to show off that uh, monitor panel on the inside. It's got a bunch of neat switches that people need to know about. All right. Let's see here, slide buttons one, two, and three. And you have interior lights, exterior lights, that's for the awning, uh, direct spark ignition. This is the water heater switches. So it's six gallon gas and electric. And flip it on, whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power, 15 minutes later, you've got hot water. And on the tanks, I'm gonna say it's an enclosed underbelly. I'm not sure, I have to double check and see if there are uh, tank heaters on it. And these are all your monitors here, freshwater tank, battery, you get the idea. Battery's a little low, it was in down at Rough River, and so that's why I've got it hooked up to my delivery guy's truck. All right. Oh, and one more thing, what I do when I check these corrugated aluminum skins to make sure there's no rock dinks or anything on them. Uh, I always do my videos on a nice sunny day. Just kind of shoot down the side here see if there are any rock dinks or anything like that or any hail damage didn't find any issues one through ten ten being the best it's a ten all right i know i didn't get everything uh these catalinas are nice so uh but anyway if you want to come and see the camper call the number on the ad or you can call 502-645-3124 you always deal directly with the owner if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Thanks.